Hi, my name is Rebecca Stockdale. Um, my son Flynn is four years old, almost five years old. Um, he has complex for mitochondrial disease, which essentially means that his um, cells don't create enough energy. So he's um, globally developmentally delayed. Uh, he's tube fed and he has the development of roughly a two to three month old baby. Um, he is gorgeous, he smiles and laughs a lot. Um, he goes to kindy, with a regular kindy with other kids, um, with his carer. He does writing for the disabled, he does hydrotherapy. Um, and recently we just got a um, wheelchair adapted vehicle so he's able to zoom around town in his wheelchair um, and do things like go to story time at the library and things like that. In our situation I just found there wasn't a lot of information at all about the type of disease that my son had and I had a lot of questions that I didn't feel were being answered and I really had to just look outside of the one specialist that we had who wasn't very um, accessible and see what I could find and um, I did come across a support group in the States, an online forum um, and through that found out about a really amazing clinical trial that was sort of a world first for this very rare disease um, and actually got in contact with the people who are running the trial um, through Stanford University over in the States and they responded which I was just amazed about and it sort of set us off on this journey um, to where um, we were accepted to the trial as far as the people in the States were concerned um, at very minimal cost, it wasn't a money ex making exercise for them um, and the specialist at Starship um, was in contact with them as well and he didn't even know about the trial so that was really exciting um, it was exciting for him too to know about this um, and find out that it was very legitimate and um, quite groundbreaking as it all turned out um, it didn't pan out for my son but there are other families in New Zealand who have benefited from being on this trial and it is for children that are close to end of life um, so quite a, um, amazing thing for families out there who are sort of living on the edge with children. So that was um, something really positive um, even though it didn't quite work out for us and uh, just sort of taught me that you've got to ask questions um, and you've got to advocate and you've got to keep looking um, and it's quite amazing what can come out of doing that. So. When we made the move as a family from uh, Wellington to Tauranga, um, our circumstances had changed and I had been our son's primary caregiver um, and his needs are very high, so he's a full-time job around the clock. Um, and I needed to go back to work, but it wasn't possible for him to be in a daycare situation um, or in a kindy situation um, and we, I was just at a loss as to where do we go, what do we do now, I mean we, we have to live our lives and, and provide for our children, um, there must be something out there um, but didn't find there was any information and I did ask questions and just found I wasn't getting anywhere and I thought to myself well I've got a child with such incredible high needs, surely there's something, what, what do families do? Um, and after researching and asking and, and looking, um, we came across individualised funding, um, which just completely changed our lives for the better. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing situation for us, um, which meant that our son could have a carer um, who would look after him one-on-one -on -one and um, you know take care of all of his needs and allow me to be able to run our business. Um, and my husband to, to be able to work. Um, so our whole family unit is functioning um, in a really positive way as a result. Um, but again, you, you just if I can give anyone any advice is just to advocate and ask the questions. Um, and if you have a problem that you need solving, um, to, to verbalize it and, and let people know, because it is amazing what's out there um, if you know where to look. I, I do feel like the annoying mother often with doctors and service providers because I'm the one who's always following up and asking them questions and um, making them accountable but um, you know I, I think that's just the way you have to be and I'm not generally like that in my personal life but um, when things aren't getting done and your child can't speak for themselves 
I think you, you, you almost have to become that person. Um, so I'll wear it as a badge of honour now.